In this project, we're going to create a script that will use the Etherscan API. We're going to use Python and GitHub Copilot to access the API. The script will return the gas price on the Ethereum network. Gas is the transaction cost on the network. You'll have noticed that I titled this tutorial low code. The reason for doing so is because we won't be writing code. We'll be writing comments which generate code. I know that there's a line between calling this video low code and actual code. The tutorial will be easy if you have coding experience. But if you're going from no code to low code, then GitHub Copilot will help. Copilot is an AI pair programmer as described on the website. For your convenience, I've timestamped the video in the description. To begin, we have to install the Python package that'll help us to access Etherscan. The package we require can be found on pypy.org and the package is called Etherscan Python. To install the package, you'll want to copy the code which is displayed below the package name. Then you'll want to open VS Code. You want to make sure your terminal is open inside VS Code too. Now we can paste the code into the terminal and press enter to install it. I've already installed the package, hence I won't run the command again. We can begin working with the package once it's installed. You'll find that the GitHub repository for the package contains detailed instructions. A link to the GitHub repository can be found on the page for the package on PyPy. For the initial steps, we'll follow the instructions which are outlined. After that, we'll use Copilot. Now, as per the repository, under Usage, we must start our code as follows. From Etherscan, import Etherscan. So let's copy that code and go back to VS Code. Back in VS Code, you'll want to paste the code that we copied in, which was from Etherscan, import Etherscan. On the next line, we must create a variable to hold our Etherscan API. Please note that your API key is unique to you and mustn't get shared. So let's do that. Let's write eth equals etherscan and then open up a pair of brackets and put some quotations inside there. In between the brackets, inside the quotations, we must include our etherscan API key. To get an API key, you must go to etherscan and create an account. Once you've logged into your etherscan account, you'll want to click API keys. Then you'll want to click add, that'll create an API key for you. You will then need to copy your API key, which can be found here. And once you've done that, go back to VS Code. Back in VS Code, you'll need to insert the API key in between the brackets and inside the quotations. Now that we have access to Etherscan, we can access specific data. Let's refer to the Etherscan documentation for a moment. We want to access the gas tracker data. And specifically, we want to access Get Gas Oracle. Below in the Response tab, we can see that this endpoint should return three different gas prices, and the data is nested inside a dictionary. Curly braces represent a dictionary. The GitHub documentation for the API and the Python package explain how to access this data. So let's switch over to the GitHub documentation. And what we'll want to do is go to endpoints. And under endpoints, we'll want to expand gas tracker. You'll notice that we need to call get gas oracle. Let's go about doing that with Copilot. Back in VS Code, let's enter a comment so that Copilot generates the code for us. I'll enter save 
get gas oracle to variable gas oracle. On the next line, we can see the suggested code. It's correct, so I'll hit tab to insert it. We now have access to the data inside get gas oracle. Let's go deeper. Again, let's refer to the Etherscan documentation. In response, we can see that the gas prices are saved to keys titled Safe Gas Price, Proposed Gas Price, and Fast Gas Price. We're going to include those keys in our comment for accurate code suggestions. Let's start by accessing the Safe Gas Price. I'll enter save safe gas price dictionary item to variable safe underscore gas. On the next line, we can see the suggested code. It's correct, so I'll hit tab to insert it. Now there is a little thing that I want to correct here. And that is the first letter, which is S. And as per the documentation, the response that we saw, it was a capital S. So I'll make sure that it is all the same in terms of capital letters and lowercase letters. And that's the thing about referring to the documentation, because it can help you to confirm what you're getting suggested by GitHub Copilot is correct or not. Now that we have access to safe gas, let's do the same for proposed gas. So I'm going to enter a comment and it's gonna be a shorter comment this time. So I'm going to write save propose gas price to variable proposed gas. On the next line, we can see the suggested code. It's correct, so I'll hit tab to insert it at this point, you might be wondering why this comment is slightly different from the comment before where I included dictionary item. The reason I did this is because to show you how fast GitHub Copilot can adapt to what you're trying to create. Let's continue. Finally, let's access the fast gas price. I'll enter save fast gas price to variable fast underscore gas. And we can see without even me having to finish the comment, a suggestion has been created by GitHub Copilot. And I can simply press tab to insert that and then go to the next line to see the suggested code, which is correct. And again, hit tab to insert it. We now have access to the data we desired. As a result, we can define the message that will get printed for the user when they run this script for gas prices. I'll enter the following comment. Variable safe message equals safe plus safe underscore gas. On the next line, we can see the suggested code. It's correct, so I'll hit tab to insert it. The code that we've just inserted is creating a variable named safe message. It's setting its value to the string of safe, following which it is inserting the data inside the safe gas variable. I'm going to repeat that for propose and fast too. For propose, I'll enter variable proposed message equals proposed plus proposed gas. And as we can see again, Copilot has finished that comment for me without me having to finish typing it. And if we go to the next line, we can see that the code is correct and we can insert it. And let's finish this up for the fast gas price too. So for that, I'll enter variable fast underscore message. And again, we can see the suggestion has got even quicker because the AI programmer, GitHub Copilot, is understanding what we want to create. So I'll hit tab to insert that comment, 
go below, look at the code, and insert that too. Now, of course, I want to print these messages and this data to the user, so I'm going to create another comment which will print the safe message, propose message, and fast message. Now, this is pretty simple in terms of writing the code itself, but I want to show you how the comments work yet again. So for the comment, I want to write print safe underscore message plus proposed underscore message plus fast underscore message on new lines. On the next line, we can see the code that gets suggested. So I'll hit tab. Again, we can see the code suggested. I'll hit tab and insert it. And finally, we have fast message, which gets inserted for us. Fantastic. What we can now do is test the script. We can run the script in the terminal by entering python free script.py and pressing enter. As we can see, the script has returned the data we accessed and formatted. So we have the safe, proposed and fast gas prices. Great work on completing this project if you followed along. I recommend joining the waiting list for GitHub Copilot. It's a tool that can help you graduate from no code to low code, even though I know it is a gray area. The project is now complete. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this low code project, please give this video a like. And if you want to get notified of the latest projects that I publish regularly, please subscribe. I'll see you in another low code project.